We uh, still need his map, don't we? <laughs> Wait a minute, the anatomy poster's on backwards. Metsis lat alex eth yimot ana. Skeletal system anatomy. That's funny. I hope something for you. I think I'm doing yeah. fine. Woo. Wow, we grabbed the alcohol and we leveled up. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you're not supposed to have a boat this far inland. It's moving on its own. Oh no, what's happening to it? <laughs> um. <laughs> pretty sure that's not supposed to happen. Oh, I just went through that zombie. <laughs> oh. Dang. How's it going, folks? It's the Pancake Renegade here, and welcome back to Dead Island Riptide. I hope you all are doing fantastic today. <clears throat> to start off today's episode, uh, I'm just looking over my weapons real quick. We got a slicer in the last episode. That's going to be our main damage dealer. Definitely going to upgrade that as soon as possible but first i actually want to continue with the main quest so if we take a look at our quest log here the main quest we have is where the dead live the quest uh, giver is marcus vila and we have to go back to marcus because we uh, went to the dead zone killed all the monsters and got him the tools he requested before he uh helped us find a way to get to henderson so let's actually continue the main quest here are your provisions now tell me what i need to know You are truly a blessing from the goats. And now I will help you. There are Japanese bankers and tunnels from World War II scattered across the island. And some of them should be accessible. One of the tunnels will lead you to a highway that directly connects to Henderson. I have maps in my hut in the jungle near a village. One of them will show you the way. I thought you lived in Halai. I live to serve the people of Halai. But they prefer to live near the natives. Draw such strength from them. They have a rich culture, and I have learned so much. So much hidden knowledge, you see? Uh, but I ramble on. You must be in a hurry to leave. All right. Meeting locals. Talk to the natives living in the missionary house. Difficulty, two skulls. XP, three stars. Cash, two stars. Yes. I wish you luck, my friend. Thank you. All right, so now we have to go to Marcus Vila's house. First off, there's a few quests here. We have a Dr. Jane Hansen. I'm not doing your quest, it's continuous. Hi, Dr. Jane Hansen. See if Dr. Jane can help you. Since you're a doctor, maybe you can provide me with medical supplies. In the rush to escape, I left my notebook back at my clinic in Halai. I used it to keep notes on how to create medicine from indigenous plants found here on the island. Once I have it, I can create medical kits. Get the book, and then collect the necessary ingredients. Solid. Reward is six large med kits. Alternative medicine, find ingredients required to create medicine. Four skulls, a difficulty, four stars XP, rewards sure. med kits. The clinic is in Halai. It might be hard getting inside, but you're clever. I know you'll figure something out. Is it going to be a dead zone? Alternative medicine, find the infirmary. All right, we also have something else over here, which is, um, Rosie, or Rose. Yep, Rose. There you go. Oh, thank you so much. I hope it helps me. Here, take this. It's the least I can do to repay you. Thanks. Got some XP, a cruel heavy wrench, and I'm assuming that's it. All right, so let's go ahead and sell you the... Rule heavy wrench, the strong metal baseball bat, and probably gonna start selling you the. Um, gonna keep the tiring homemade cleaver because it's doing 800 damage, which is honestly better, better than its reliable battle double blade, but we'll keep that for a bit. I'm gonna sell you the uh, white tier weapons. We got a throwing this knife. Isn't for Not too sure if that's um, the only. Like, if I throw that throwing knife, I wonder if I can actually, like, get it back, or if that's that's that. Alright, so, let's go ahead and repair these weapons. 
Just keeps him on hand. Let's upgrade the slicer. It's gonna be, we have 55,541. Before repairing this, we have 45,478 afterwards. <clears throat> Liquid fire mob. That's gonna be a shovel, a uh, barbecue mod. Uh, we want, we want poison and bleeding. So venom mod would be amazing. Um, so I could put this on the splitting axe. And if I use is the paralyzing strike, that's the poison. What about uh, bleeding? Barbed wire, mutilate. Yeah, that sounds pretty good. I could put that on slaughtering claws. Nice. Yeah, let's put that there. And then stun bomb. Impact. Shock. What's impact? Pound mate with electrocution hammer. No, well, here's your chance. Slaughtering shovel. Alright, might as well try it. And then after that, we'll uh, save our... Um, save our stuff for a bit. Alright, we got a new quest. Henry Boyle. European tourist. He's not immune. Current weapon is a stick. <laughs> Love that. Alright, uh, three pieces of electronic scrap. And we get a torch mod. Cool. Any other quests? Nope, I think we're fine. Alright, let's go with the um, proximity. Actually, uh, let's go finish the safe haven quest, and then we'll do proximity and actually finish that quest off. <laughs> Alright, we got the strong machete. Uh, everybody sold everything there. That's 200 meters away. Where's that going to end up being? Over that way. Towards abandoned movie set. Uh, Kiwi camping. That's the center. I think the Santa Maria Mission's out that way. Abandoned bungalow. So that stuff. I think we're the closest we'll get, honestly. And that's the Pearl Sands. Sandy Cave. Haven't gone there yet. I think... Zima Kani Rest? No, we definitely don't have that. Um, Where's the marina? Or, yeah, Marik's Marina. Where's that take us? That's gonna be off to the right over it here, isn't it? Yeah, that's pretty far. Um, we might as well find the crates from the airdrop. Like, we might as well just do that, right? Might as well go this way, find a car, <clears throat> get this quest over and done with so we no longer hear a beeping sound. Because that beeping sure is annoying. All right, there's a car over this way. Alright, we got our machete back. We got a weight plate. Nice. And we got suicide or meat. That's pretty good. Alright, let's turn left. And then, where are we going? Area map. Over here somewhere. Alright. <clears throat> Quest marker says 400 meters. I doubt it. Got some bandages. Stomp. Oh, we got some fury back. That's cool. Alright, it's out this way. Nope. Gonna go here. Water is still rising. Water is still rising. Where in the world? Alright. It's a little bit difficult to hear the, uh, the beeping, but let's continue over this way. Oh, wait, hold on. It's right here, isn't it? That must be the signal from the crate. <laughs> Whoa, jeez. All right. <laughs> must be the signal from the crate. Yeah, right there. Looks like the crate got, uh, got opened. It's being used.
can't believe I only had another single hit on you. Alright, so this is from the crate. Oh, up there maybe? Maybe I gotta go up. I'll take the barbed wire. Maybe he took all the supplies? Yeah, it looks like it. Got food supplies, some grenades. <laughs> Jeez. Alright, now we have another one. Search for the inland camp, find crates. Alright, so if we go... If we take this car and go back to... Oh, we have to talk, back to, talk to Bruce at some point. If I go to that fast travel again, we'll be at the uh, other place and be able to go to the uh, spot easier. <clears throat> right, let's turn around. Run you zombies over real quick. Let's just drive this car back to the uh, fast travel location as quick as I can. What is this? Just a post. All right, sawed off piece of wood. Intriguing. The There's something are. in here. Cause that door keeps exploding open every single time I pass it. Is there actually nothing in here? Really? Bye. All right. Yeah. Very strange. Whoa! I thought I'd be out of the blast radius. All right. <laughs> Man. I love how I'm just dying over and over in this game. What's in here? Was it even this building that I died in? I don't think so. I think it was that building, maybe? Uh, nope, it was this one. Dang! Look at that! That has insane amounts of damage. Let's take that alcohol. <laughs> See, we have shotgun ammo here, we have painkillers, and then pistol ammo there, but we still don't have access to a gun. Alright, let's go to the fast travel point. Let's take the electronic scrap, and then let's go to... What, Paradise Survival Camp? Do you think he does the same? What if it's been overrun? I'm ready. You just let me know if you want me to... Yep, okay. I hold something for you. I think I'm doing yeah. fine. Woo. Wow, we grabbed the alcohol and we leveled up. <laughs> okay. Alright, well now that that's done, um, maybe poison duration would be pretty good to get. And then critical hit and bleeding duration. So yeah, we have plus 60% uh, poison and bleeding damage. And then we also have a higher chance of bleeding and poison duration. That's insane. Alright, I do want to get Fury stuff, though. Um, critical kills gain you more rage. Chance to restore 20% of rage after Fury ends. Ooh, that'd be cool. Decrease the amount of rage required. Yeah, let's get the uh, rage requirement down. And then get the restore chance up. How about that? If last even longer is more devastating, we'll try and get that as soon as possible. The WHO is working on a cure for this. We just need to hold on a bit longer. All right, let's see. Can we give anything to anyone? No. Nope. Nope. All right, can I give anything to you? LP four thousand battery. Thanks Electronic a lot. scrap. Ah, uh, great. Now just give me a moment to assemble this. Uh, trade. I don't want any of that. Yeah, we could buy ammo from you. I'm fine. 
Balanced throwing knife. Oh, there's a ladder here. What's up this way? Just while we're here, might as well search up here, right? What is this? Got some flare gun stuff. Med kit. Oh, there's a whole place in here. Let's open these doors. Alright, what's this? Oh, just an outside area. I guess that door just goes all the way across as well. This is just a loot area. What's this? Ooh, another diary. Oh, My John Morgan's John part Morgan, one. And I'm a sergeant in the ADF. My squad and I were mobilized last night as part of the second battalion. We made an amphibious landing south of Wisdom Bay and are now preparing to hike into the jungle. While we aren't taking the highway, the brass won't say. Something big is going on, but the powers that be are keeping it rather mysterious. Our immediate superiors claim we're here to supply humanitarian aid, but then why are we so heavily armed? Anything will help. I'm making this audio diary not in any official capacity, but for my family, in the event that, for whatever reason, I do not make it out in one piece. Probably being overly... Hold on. wouldn't survive this operation, but there's something about all this that just isn't sitting right with me. All right. Looks like we're heading out. Grab your gear, Johnson. Let's go, Miller. Yes, sir. Moving out. All right. <laughs> Here you go. Give it a try. All right, we got a lot of explosive mines. Holy crap. <laughs> And were they auto-equipped on us? No. But they are definitely in our inventory. We got explosive mines. Uh, oh, yeah, 11. We got 11 of those. 12. We got 12 explosive mines. That is insane. Nice. All right. I saw that I can give Logan something. So I'm going to give him, like, some clamps or whatever he wants. Here. Thanks, Fred. No problem. Got shock bombs. Alright, so he's red. I don't know why he's red. Team. New quest for Logan. Uh, three rolls of heavy duty tape. And what else? New quest for Henry. Four pieces of suicider meat. Maybe a magic wand mod. New quest for Zoe. Three rolls of highly conductive wire. And I get more powerful items at a discount. Alright. And then anything else? No, and I can't give you that. All right, let's see. Nope, can't give anything at Harlow. All right, well, let's go ahead and repair our stuff. All right, honestly, let's also uh, upgrade those barb claws just a little bit. All right, now that that's done, we can head this way. Actually, hold on. What do you got? Here's seven batteries. Stay positive. We start losing hope and we'll lose everything. Got a grenade. And then I'm assuming for team, also another new quest available. Yeah, three aluminum tubes, which I think we actually have. No, we probably have two then. All right. All right, uh, let's check the area map. It's gonna be over here. So let's take the boat. Let's head down this tunnel. I think there's anything there. Oh, I just went through that zombie. Or just glitch in the boat. Whoa! Jerk. That must right, be this a signal way. from the crate. Looks like it. Got some Molotovs. 
med kit. I guess I have everything. Cool. Go ahead and back. Alright, let's go ahead and move that waypoint. And then we're gonna go all the way back to so that's Marcus Vila's house. Um Supply's gonna be that way. And Mia's over this way. In the cave we saw this way. I tried using the uh, jump attack, but that didn't work too well. <laughs> oh! Dang! This is insane. Yeah, we got more insulin. Not too sure who it's for just yet, but we got more insulin. Alright, here's the uh, food you wanted. Thank you. You've helped us a lot. Take this for the trouble. Why are you saying us? It looks like there's just two here. You. Oh, you want another? Uh, investigate the smugglers' bunker. Okay. Maybe you could share some supplies with us. Or at least tell me where to find some. The smugglers had a bunker near a big laboratory, and I believe it's been abandoned for a while now. There's a lot of equipment still there, stuff we can both use. Go check it out. If you bring me a gun, we'll call it even. I'm especially fond of the old ones. They are reliable. Like a magnum or a colt. You can take everything else and I'll even give you a little something extra. What do you say? Magnum or a cult. All right. Surplus, investigate the abandoned bunker. Difficulty, four skulls. XP, four stars. Reward is a hot rod mod. Purple tier. Okay. Great. But you will need to be careful. The whole place is mined. I wonder if I can pick up the mines. Gain access to the research laboratory. Okay, I'm going to assume that is the laboratory um, by uh, the Henderson area that we saw. The pharma area. Find the infirmary. So infirmary's there. Alright, we need to go Kiwi camping. Where's this? Santa Maria mission. Um I wanna check out the abandoned bungalow. There's so many places I wanna check out, but like we don't have enough fast travel markers. So I think I think for now I'll just go back this way. Oh. Did a massive leap there. And let's just take a boat, I guess. And let's take a boat, area map. Let's have it go... This way? Yeah, let's have it go this way. Uh, what's over here? Marcus Vila's house. Yeah, let's do the main quest. Let's do that. So let's go down to the right, and then through there. Yeah. And then, just to make sure, yeah. No, yeah, hop right on. Man! Come on. Do I seriously? <laughs> I think at some point I want to try and learn how to analog fight. Uh, instead of using a digital pattern, but I'm not too sure. Also, uh, change hero skin. We have a default and we have survivor. Let's try survivor and see what that looks like. I can't really tell, but we look a lot cooler not being in heels. So I think we'll go with this skin for a bit. Take anything you want. Anything. I must go to my children. They must be terrified. Level up. Hell yeah. Alright. Skills. So we're going to work on rage. Lessening the requirement for it. <clears throat> Alright, so we can take whatever we want from here, I guess. That has a lot of energy drinks, Molotovs, got some throwing knives. I'll take that. And then looks like you have a bridge over here. 
Oh, dang, you have a whole... A whole bridge area. Intriguing. You made a whole treehouse, huh? That's pretty sick. Pretty neat. Alright, let's go back this way. Still heading over here. What if I jump into the water? Will I hurt myself? Yep. Definitely will. <laughs> uh, good to know, I guess. Glad to know water doesn't break your fall. And that's no puddle or anything. Like, that's a full-blown river. We jumped in the deep part over here, too. Not like it was uh, shallow right here. Regardless, let's head in the boat. Hold on, did we uh, throw a skin change? We're in Survivor. All right, let's get out of the boat. Nice, you can see our boots have changed. Cool. All right, just need to find a way to actually like see our character in full, like during a cutscene or something. We got Mataka over here. This village has been devastated. Oh, maybe we just had to wait for a story mission because we were over here helping Dave for his movie, and this survival base was closed. Isn't it now open? Yes! What do you want? Hi, DC. Hello. If you're looking for Marcus, he's not here. I know, it's okay. He sent me. I need to get something from his hut. No one is coming in here. My brother is deathly ill. You understand? I'm very sorry about your brother, but it's important that I'm allowed in. We were fine until you people came here. Now look what you have done. What you have unleashed. You want my help? Then you will help my brother. Listen, what happened here isn't my fault, but I'll do what I can for your brother. Now tell me, what's wrong with him? His temperature keeps changing. One minute he has a fever, the next he is hit with chills. He gets the shakes. You bring him some medicine and I will let you in. Okay. Ooh, five throwing knives. Yeah, so since we're getting a reward of five throwing knives, I'm going to assume that... If we throw a throwing knife, we cannot pick it back up. That is my best guess. It's like a grenade, I guess. But a stabbing grenade. Regardless, uh, natural resources, find the cure for one of the natives. Uh, difficulty, three skulls, XP, three stars, reward five throwing knives. Of course. Once you bring the medicine, I'll open the gate. All right. Where do we- Carlo, it's Shien. I think I have a way to reach Henderson, but I'm going to need some medical help. Uh, no, no, I'm fine. But there's a sick man here, and I need to figure out what's wrong with him. Hold on, I'll get Dr. Hansen. This is Dr. Hansen. I hear you need to help someone who's sick. But what's wrong with him? Uh, he has fever, chills, and the shakes. It sounds like the beginning stages of malaria. My medical supplies were all lost in the monsoon. But you can treat him with Jesuit bar. Right, thank you, Doctor. Alright. So we go to the destroyed road, which is all the way out there. So... I'm gonna go through here, around there, and out that way. So let's make it through here. Uh, yeah, through here. I'm wondering if we can make it out this way. Ah, looks like we can. I wonder if we can actually upgrade the boat at all. All right, so we need to go straight for a bit. There's the road up there. Um, hmm. Let's head straight for a bit and then turn right up this way and go right here. So let's just keep going straight. <clears throat> to assume no, there's just not okay 
I love how the zombies are just getting placed and dropped in the water. It's kind of funny. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you're not supposed to have a boat this far inland. It's moving on its own. I don't know what's happening to it. <laughs> um... <laughs> Pretty sure that's not supposed to happen. All right, there was a tree. It's just, uh, the dead have abandoned their grave. I think the tree's back here. Squish. No. Oh. Excellent. Cool. Well, that's that. Now we have to go to two other places. Yes. That's what I needed. <clears throat> Let's set up the ladder. Come on. Now we get a safe zone unlocked. Here you go, Hansi. Ready, see? All right, I have the medicine. So let me in. What is this? No medicine? It is medicine. You need to talk to my father. He will decide what to do. All right. Talk to Batra. You have something for my son. Bring it to me. Sure. Sir, this is for your son. It will treat his illness. What is this? <laughs> the bark of a tree. I was expecting aspirin or antibiotics. I can go find my own tree bark. Well, all of our medicine is gone, but our doctor says this works just as well. If this doesn't work, I will come for you. Now, what do you want? I need something of Marcus's, a map. Those are his things, take whatever you want. He's just like, okay, there you go, have a map. <laughs> Yours now. Senny, I hope you um, fare well. We got a picture here, investigate. Nothing? Uh, is there no map? The ritual find Marcus Vila's map and notebook. Okay. Oh, you're a trader now. Cool. Ooh, yes, I like this. Now I can actually sell you this and that and that and that and that. All right, cool. You're the best. Ah! We got Marcus's no, notes. Why would Marcus keep notes on old native rituals? Uh, beats me. He did say he uh, understood a lot of hidden knowledge, didn't he? All right, nothing there. Nothing. Nothing here. Painkillers. Photograph. We got a postcard. Postcard from Pile and I, number five. Let's go ahead and read that. Pal and I, uh, postcard number five. Greetings from Pal and I. Expect unexpected. Our culture is unique. Hi, Mom. Greetings from Pal and I. It's beautiful here, but a little weird. Yesterday, some little boy actually bit Danny on the ferry right in. The kid was having some kind of temper tantrum. Now, Danny has a fever that won't quit. I'm sure he'll be fine in a day or two. I'll write you soon. Love, Karen. Postcards are bloody. Oh, look at this. A photo of Marcus and a Dr. Kessler. Wait a minute. Marcus was a scientist? 
Hmm. Intriguing. We uh, still need his map, don't we? <laughs> Wait a minute, the anatomy poster's on backwards. Metsis lat alex eth yimot ana. Skeletal system anatomy. That's funny. Oh, one other thing? Wait a minute. This isn't a map of the tunnels. It's a hand-drawn map of part of the jungle. Uh-oh, we got swindled. Sir Batram. I I'm looking for a specific map, and it's not here. Do you know where it could be? No, and I warn you not to be friends with that man. We are not friends. He was supposed to help me, though. His help? He doesn't help anyone. He's evil, that one. Pure evil. That's why the elders chased him away. I heard that he wanted to recreate the old rituals. The old, terrible rituals of the distant past. He was warned that those rituals only unleash evil, but he wouldn't listen. He kept trying and trying, and then the elders finally had enough. They banished him, told him never to come back. Why was he doing those things? I need to care for my son. You want answers, you get them yourself. Marcus. Hmm. Intriguing. Very intriguing. I have a feeling that Dr. Kessler, whomever that is, I know we have a Dr. Kessler's case book, uh, but whomever this Dr. Kessler and obviously, um, uh, what were, uh, Marcus, I bet they used to work at the uh, pharmaceutical company. Not the one from Dead Island 1, but the one that we found. Uh, on our way to Henderson. Anyways, that is going to have to do it for today's episode. Is it a bit? It is a bit of a long one. I know these past few episodes have been kind of long. I'll try and keep them around like 30 minutes or so from here on out. But regardless, oh, we can't fast travel. Dang. All right. Well, regardless, that is going to have to do it for today's episode. So I hope you all enjoyed. Good. And I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace.